As part of your second year dental public health portfolio assessment, you need to create a blog or um, your diary, shall we say, of your account of Journal Club. And this is part of your evidence towards your use of evidence-based dentistry. So all I want to do in this quick video is just to show you how to use the how to use Mahara to create that blog, um, as it's something you've probably not used before. It's really, really straightforward. You first of all need to create your blog. And um, as with everything in Mahara, it's not until you choose to share it with us or with the tutors or with the group that we can see it. So the first thing you need to do is create it in your own personal area. And to do that, you go to the content tab and you'll see there's an option for journals. Now, journal is just what Mahara calls a blog. The reason why I'm not using the word journal is because otherwise this would be a journal about journal club, which is a little bit confusing. So we call it a journal club blog, but it's exactly the same thing. So if you go to this journals area and you just need to create a journal. I'm going to give it a title. I would suggest you call it your journal club blog. Oh, if we spell it correctly. And you don't really need to write a description because it's fairly self-explanatory in the title. And we'll just go to create journal at the bottom of the page. And now that journal is there. And basically all you need to do is add a new entry. You can see from this option here, each time you've got something to add to your blog. So basically we're looking at every time you're at a journal club session, you can add a new entry. It will automatically date and timestamp it, so you don't even need to worry about that. It's just a case of adding in there the short amount of words that you have, so we're only really looking at 100 words per post, saying how you've benefited from Journal Club today and what your involvement was. So your first entry is going to be your roundup of semester one. So just for the sake of clarity, I'll just show you how to do that. You just go to add new entry. And then you want to title each entry so it's clear what we're talking about here. Like I say, you don't need to use the date stamp. Uh, you don't need to use the date because it's stamped on there. But certainly for the first one, it's obviously going to be semester one summary. And then you would just write in the box whatever you feel is appropriate. And then we just go down to the bottom and save entry. And now that's got our first entry there. You can see we've got the title and it tells us when it was posted. And this is your entry. And you can just keep adding entries as and when you want to. Um, so I would strongly recommend you do this shortly after Journal Club so it's fresh in your mind. It's very quick, won't take you long at all. You can write some notes during the session and then just condense them into your entry. So this currently is just sat in your own personal content area. Nobody else can see it. What we need to do is add it to your page, your portfolio page, so that when you submit it, we can see it. So you just add it in the same way as you add anything else to your page. So if we go to the portfolio area and to pages, and in here you'll have your portfolio page. It's the same one that you've been putting your audit on. We're just going to add to it. So I'm just going to go to this one here. And this should look pretty similar to what you've got at the moment. You've got your introduction, your first year oral health promotion folder, and obviously your second year audit folder. So now we want to add the Journal Club blog. So go to edit page. And you'll see there's actually a tab here for journals. So if we click that down there, and we want to use the top one that says journal. If you use the other ones, it'll only add one entry, whereas we want the entire journal here. So just click and drag, and then it's going to ask you which journal. Now, if you have multiple journals in your content area, then there'll be multiple journals to choose from. Obviously, I've only got one, and you may only have one as well. But just make sure you click that, and then we'll scroll down, what's under there, and we'll just hit save. And now it will appear on your page. So you actually have two ways in which you can add an entry. You can add an entry straight from your portfolio page. You'll see it's got an add entry there. Or you can do it the way we just looked at by going to the content area. Either way, wherever you add the entry, it will appear in both. 
because they're inherently linked. So if you add it in the journals section, the entry will appear on your page. And if you add it on your page, then the journal, the entry will appear in your journals. So it doesn't actually matter. And as the semester goes on, you're going to have more and more additions to this. So I would recommend you give the Journal Club blog a column of its own because it'll get quite long as the semester goes on. Just so that you know exactly what it looks like, it's always a good option when you're in, when you've made any changes to your portfolio page. When you're happy with it, you go down to the display page option. And this makes sure that you know exactly what is going to be seen by anybody else viewing your page. And you can see here that there's your Journal Club blog. So it's quite straightforward. I just wanted to make sure that you knew how to do it, seeing as it's not something you've done before. As always, if you have any problems or questions, please just contact me and I'll do what I can to help you with that. Thank you. Bye bye.